This is Mark Belton, Super Training TV, Super Training Gym, the strongest gym in the West. Here you're going to see footage of one of the strongest raw powerlifters of all time, Stan the Rhino Efferding. Notice that he's squatting onto a box for his warm ups. This is something that Stan does. He also does kind of a touch and go on the box, but after talking to him after this training session, he said he's going to do away with the box, mainly only use it for speed work because uh, he felt that on this day it was kind of throwing him off because he's now anticipating the box and, and uh, kind of doing a dip onto the box, which is much different than just uh, staying tight and doing a touch and go. And uh, he also has the bar a little bit lower on this day, and I don't think he realized that the bar is going to pitch you forward if you have it too low. So he ends up changing it as he gets up to the big, the big boy weights. You can notice that uh, Stan is the only one lifting in this footage. This was as his, per his uh, request. He only likes to watch himself lift. Stan Efferding's favorite topic in life is himself, and uh, so that's why you only see just Stan lifting. Stan's with his boy Creed there in the super duper tight orange shirt. That's actually a 3X shirt, but, but uh, Creed fills it out well. He's jacked and tan, and he's able to, uh, to fill it out. I call these guys the Swole Patrol. Creed comes in. Creed uh, makes sure that Stan has the best workout that he can. Creed pulled Stan out of retirement, told him he was a wimp, and told him that he had to get back on the platform to break some world records. And so now here we are with Stan uh, going after some huge, huge numbers. Uh, I think uh, Stan is capable of uh, getting around a 900-pound squat in this meet. I guess, I guess that remains to be seen, but that's what I think he's capable of doing. The guy's a savage, and once he puts his mind to something, he better look the hell out because uh, he's a very determined person. And, you know, you hear a lot of people make excuses about being tall or uh, about being... Uh, you know, being this or that, or being not built for this or that. Stan is about six foot one, so uh, excuses of uh, being too tall to squat or being too tall for this or too tall to bench or whatever. Uh, he's one of the most well-rounded powerlifters I've ever seen in my life. One of the most explosive powerlifters I've ever seen in my life. But there really is no excuse to be weak. Um, Stan has benched uh, over 600 pounds in competition before. He deadlifts over 800 pounds, and he'll certainly squat well over eight, probably high eights. Here he is going for an 805 squat. Creed has been helping Stan a lot with his training recently. They train out in uh, in Vegas, and uh, Creed is uh, and they they also train with Eric Spoto, who's coming to our meet November 3rd. That's what Stan's preparing for right here, the backyard meet of the century. Um, that's going to be a hell of a meet. Pete Rubish has recently signed up for the competition as well. And Pete Rubish is an absolute savage. Look him up on YouTube. Um, he has uh, successfully deadlifted over 800 pounds, benches around 400, squats around 700. Saw a video of that kid uh, squat 637 with no belt, uh, weighing 235 pounds or so. And the weight nearly cuts him in half. It's a long lift, uh, but he just doesn't give up. The guy's, the guy's got a lot of heart. Then I also saw him take the weight down to 500 pounds and crank it out for 10 reps as well. So we got him, we got George Lehman coming out, the Lillibridge brothers, Eric Spoto, Dan Green. It's just going to be absolutely insane, November 3rd at Super Training Gym. And all these guys are doing the full power meet. Here goes Stan with an 865-pound squat. Oh, drills it. That'll be around an opening attempt for him. He's probably going to open around 850 pounds at the meet. And that is it from supertraining.tv.